So the whole reason why the price of Luna dropped so drastically all the way up from close to $100 a couple of days ago to now being less than one cent is that the total supply of this coin skyrocketed in order to try to keep UST uh, at peg of course that failed but still the mechanism was there and in order to keep UST at its peg more Luna needed to be printed which in theory should be burned later and doing that would of course correct Luna's price but things got way out of control with this crazy high supply and now to get Luna to measly $30 per one token Doc One needs 16 billion dollars to buy back Luna and burn it. And since that's quite unrealistic, there is another plan in the works. Doc One came out with a new plan just an hour ago, and we are going to go through that plan right now and see if millions of people are going to get back their money. The Grand Terra Ecosystem Revival Plan. There's been several community and validator groups discussing the launch of a fork of the Terra chain to make the ecosystem whole from the UST depegging event wanted to offer my perspective on how this should be done. As of this time, there are still several billion dollars worth of UST and the value of Luna token has fallen to essentially zero. Even if the peg were to eventually restore after the last marginal buyers and sellers have capitulated, the holders of Luna have so severely been liquidated and diluted that we will lack the ecosystem to build back up from the ashes. While a decentralized economy does need decentralized money, UST has lost so much trust with its users to play the role. So what remains? While UST has been the central narrative of Terra's growth story over the last year, the Terra ecosystem and its community is what is worth preserving. We have built up one of the largest and most vibrant developer ecosystems in crypto, with some of the smartest minds in the world working on products and best UI, UX. Terra Station has a large initial base with millions of users across the world. Although in distress, strong brand recognition and a name that almost everyone in the world will have heard about, the Terra community must reconstitute the chain to preserve the community and the developer ecosystem. So the grand plan is that the validator should reset network ownership to just 1 billion tokens distributed amongst 400 million which is 40% to Luna holders before the depegging event. The new change should be community owned. Preserving decent ownership of the network in its strongest believers and builders is important. Another 40% to UST holders pro rata at the time of new network upgrade. UST holders need to be made whole as much as possible. 10% to Luna holders at the final moment of the chain halt. Last minute marginal Luna buyers should be compensated for their role in attempting to provide stability for the network. These are basically the people who try to buy. He's basically now talking about the people who try to buy a Luna sub $1 to try to dump it as soon as it reaches like $5. These are people he wants to compensate as well. Another 10% to community pool to fund future development. Our Luna besides the third tranche should be staked at network genesis state. The network should incentivize its security with a reasonable inflation rate, say 7%, as fees will no longer be enough to pay for security without the swap fees. So to some of things thus far he's proposing to basically fork Terra ecosystem and make sort of a brand new copy of this whole ecosystem with just 1 billion tokens distributed amongst this group of people. Uh, the big question is does this mean that you're going to get your money back? Well not really, you might get compensated a bit but in no way you're actually going to get all your holdings or even close to it. My guess is that you would maybe get back like 20% of what you held in this ecosystem. And that's the best case scenario. The priority now should be to preserve this amazing ecosystem and to make as many users and builders as possible. Terra should first preserve its L1 and the community should gather to discuss the centralized money once the dust has settled. So my big issue with the plan is that essentially the value of the whole ecosystem is gone. Yes, the community is kind of still there, but I believe that most people just want to get their money back and cash out as soon as possible. And if that was actually possible, I think like 99% of people would actually take their money out of Terra ecosystem and go somewhere else. The trust is gone, Anchor is not working, UST as a stablecoin is not working. What use is really there? Will the small amount of people who actually stick around to see Terra survive make the project boom again and make it what it was before this horrible event? I don't know, only time will tell. That about wraps up the video, subscribe for more news, bye.